what's going on? Hope you guys are doing all right. I am showing you guys kind of a vlog, if you will, um, on some a day of fishing, uh, bank fishing. I'm not going to be fishing from my boat today, or and I'm also not going to be waiting today. I'm just going to be beating the banks and uh, searching for some fish who are willing to bite. I don't have that long, so that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. So stay tuned, and I'll walk you guys what I'm doing. Or through what I'm doing. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to be very productive, considering they just did all this construction. Just caught my fifth bass. Well, four bass and a rock bass. And all I'm doing is throwing a seven weight intermediate line with a three foot T11 um, and a Versa leader. And I'm letting it, I'm finding rock piles and I'm bumping a, uh, uh, a bass buster um, over the rock piles and picking up all these smallmouth and one big, big rock bass. Just a mutilated piece of rabbit or, or squirrel fur wrapped around a four rot, sorry, a, a size four hook with the, uh, I have a sculpin head on it, but they're loving it. So, just got done fishing for smallmouth um, on a fly rod. Uh, after I hung up the video mid fishing, because I wasn't expecting much, I didn't even bring my camera gear. This is my cell phone. Um, I caught about three more. One good one, two dinks. Um, but it just goes to show you, you don't need very long if you know what you're looking for. Looking for. I went out and I found a really nice rock pile, like a, almost like a, a reef, if you will. And on the reef, I essentially crawled my jig style uh, bass buster up over it, and jigging it a little bit. And they were sitting there anchored up, or, or you know, and uh, just took at it. And, and, and I caught eight fish in a matter of an hour and a half so uh, just cross-sectioning that re that little uh, pile uh, casting one way moving my body casting the other trying different uh, pace retrieves they just really liked the fast retrieves tonight lots of really short uh, strips and so I'm off now to go finish errands because I have to be dad and husband now so uh, I'll catch you I'll catch up with you guys fairly soon just got home I'm going to change some stuff, and then I have to go back out and shoot a short video clip for one of my sponsors. I'll show you guys that in a second, but um, it'll be a standalone video sometime soon too, but um, just a short tip called outside the box. So um, then after that, I've got some other errands to run, then grocery shopping, and that's basically my day. What's going on guys? Colton here with Lucky Tackle Box and Twig and Timber Outdoors here for Outside the Box. So. Many of you guys have some really cool gear and you're getting really good flies in the fly box for Lucky Tackle Box, but let's not neglect that the fly rod can do so much more than just catch trout. And so I want to show you guys one of my favorite rigs to catch uh, late season, summer, uh, early season, fall bass. Now smallmouth are my favorite bass when I'm not searching for uh, you know, trout. And one of the things I want to typically use, uh, I have an intermediate line or a sink tip line and what I like to do on top of that, this happens to be a seven weight, um, is I'll throw on that, I'll also include some kind of uh, sink tip either leader, this happens to be versa leader, um, or uh, some kind of uh, sink tip shooting head. So whether it's T11, T14, and then on top of that, I will, from my versa leader, I will go something very short like in a 12 to 20 pound range fluorocarbon to a weighted streamer. And what this does is it allows me to fish 
uh, at my own pace. You know, if I'm, if I'm fishing something, like, and I'm searching for rock piles, uh, this allows me to dredge along the rock piles, and jigging this fly. But if I'm fishing in heavier current, I'll just throw myself a few men, let it get down, and then it will do its own work. It'll work itself through the current, and on a jig style hook like this where it faces upwards, I'm not going to get hung up. And this is way easier and way more efficient, in my opinion, than fishing with uh, lots of weight on my, on my leader itself, so split shot or anything like that. That's my biggest tip for you guys is don't shy away right now from fishing for bass. And if you haven't fished for bass uh, using streamers on a fly rod, I highly suggest it. It just add, requires a couple additional things, but those flies you get in the fly box from Lucky Tackle Box will be uh, just as effective sunk uh, and, and swung through currents or stripped in as they would be on top water. So there you go. There's my two minutes or give or take for you guys. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlist. And until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out. Hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Check out the other videos in the playlist. And until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.